Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. My name is Hello Back, and it's been a while since I've done a recipe video with you guys, so guess what we're doing today? <laughs> First off, for my keto folks, this is not a keto safe recipe, however, I'm sure you guys have done it long enough that you know what you can substitute and what you can't, so still feel free to stick around. As for the rest of you sugar lovers, today I thought I would experiment a little bit and I want to try and make some tea and honey cookies. Just the other day, I had a pretty strong craving for tea and honey cookies, but like I tried to find a recipe and I couldn't find one. So today we're going to be experimenting and trying to make our own recipe. So I already have off to the side here, I'm sure you can see all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So for this recipe I'm going to be using a half cup of softened butter, a half cup of tea, one cup of sugar, three cups of flour. I didn't have any brown sugar so I'm going to be using a half cup of coconut sugar, a half cup of honey, two eggs, I have one teaspoon of baking soda, I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and finally I have a half teaspoon of salt. So I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees, so let's start mixing stuff together. So I'm going to start first by mixing together my butter and my tea. kind of gross right now but we're gonna add in our sugar so I have my white sugar here and my brown sugar slash coconut sugar it actually smells pretty good right now <laughs> and then finally I want to add in my honey I love how honey looks it's just delicious <laughs> The honey just made this so creamy. I need you guys to get a close-up of this. Can you see? Oh, let me just kick my camera. It looks amazing! Now it's all off-center. What the heck? Just I had to kick it, didn't I? Alright, so next I'm going to add in my two eggs. And I'm going to add these one at a time. I'm sure you guys have made cookies before. You know how this works. Does anyone know the reason why you have to add them one at a time? I'm not a culinary expert, I don't know, but I am kind of curious. Does it matter? Does it even matter? Is the world going to blow up if I put them both in at the same time? Next, I'm going to add in my baking soda, my vanilla extract, and my salt. And now finally, I'm gonna add in my flour. And I'm gonna try adding this a little at a time so I don't make as big of a mess. I'm getting really worried about the consistency, guys. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, all right, you know, it's not an awful consistency. All right, so I got it all mixed up, guys. It's good to go. It actually smells pretty good, so I have high hopes for it, but I mean it is still a bit runny. I mean not too bad, I think it would be fine if I dropped it right now, but just to help drop it, I think I'm going to put it in the freezer for maybe an hour, just to kind of help harden it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, so I just pulled it out of the freezer and it's like the perfect consistency for dropping it, so I'm going to do like two inch bowls, I think. I'm just gonna drop them on a cookie sheet and then I'm gonna bake them. Again, I have it set at 350 degrees. I'll bake them for 10 minutes. All right guys, the cookies are now done. So that just means we have to test them and see if they're good or not. Mm, they smell really good and they're so soft. Like they're so soft. Look at this. Mmm, this is so good. <laughs> so like here's the thing with these cookies, there's like three different sugar sweeteners, whatever, in them. Because there's the white sugar, the honey, and the coconut sugar. 
So it's just a very interesting sugar combination. It's absolutely delicious. The tea taste is so subtle. It's just absolutely delicious. And I don't know what caused them to be this soft, but this is amazing. <laughs> It's almost cakey. Okay, this is literally just becoming me enjoying a cookie on camera. Mmm! Alright guys, I'm so happy with how this recipe turned out. A lot better than I thought it was going to, and that just makes me so happy. <laughs> so I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Do you think it's absolutely delicious as well? I would like to know. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, so you can see more wonderful things, like recipes, and clothing hauls, and vlogs, and all of the wonderful things. And that being said, guys, I will see you the next time around.